pots packed with colour look fabulous in summer and it doesn't always have to be seasonal bedding. Here I've chosen two herbaceous perennials which will come back year after year providing you summer colour for months on end. I'm going to pop them up into this sturdy terracotta pot. So the first thing I do is I get a piece of broken terracotta pot and just place that over the hole in the bottom. That just stops the compost falling out the base. Then I just need to start filling up the pot with compost. I've chosen a good quality compost and I've also mixed in some of these water retaining granules. These are fabulous little things. They look like powder in the packet, but when you add water, they swell up to this jelly-like substance which holds 400 times its weight in water. Pots always tend to dry out a bit faster than everything else, so adding that is really useful. I've chosen these two perennial plants because I really like them. I like the way the Nepeta has the upright flower spikes and the Scabiosa has the soft pink button-like flowers. The bees and butterflies are going to love them as well. So I'm just sitting them on top of the compost. I am going to squeeze them in. and just mix them up. So the last one's just going in. I've managed to squeeze in three of each. Now for some unknown reason, planting in odd numbers always works best. So plants in ones, threes or fives if you have the opportunity. Lastly, all I need to do is just infill the gaps with a bit of compost. There's not much because I've planted them so densely. and give it a really good drink. Now, it's important also, when this is up and running, it'll settle in. It looks a little bit out of sorts, I suppose, initially, until it just, in a week, it'll just blend together and look absolutely beautiful. But to keep it looking beautiful, I'd recommend feeding at fortnightly intervals with a good general purpose fertilizer. And even though these plants are somewhat tolerant to drought, it's still important that they are kept really well watered.